It is a busy weekend in Loring Park in Minneapolis. Twin Cities Pride is back after getting canceled last year due to the pandemic. WCCO's Marielle Mose joins us live from the festival grounds where things are wrapping up. And Al, I was really curious how the turnout would be today. Yeah, the turnout was great here. I'm told an estimated 50,000 people showed up here to Loring Park today. And even though the event just wrapped up, plenty of people are still lingering in the park here. And a lot of normal traditions didn't happen this year, but that didn't matter to everyone here because pride still happened. People streamed into Loring Park Saturday afternoon which was lined up with 300 tents of vendors for Twin Cities Pride. I will buy that one. Believe it or not, this is actually 100 fewer vendors than they usually have for this event. Organizers say they kept participation slightly smaller to help social distance throughout the park. This year it was a lot harder to get in as a vendor. Quinn Katner Tucker owns Queen on the Scene, coming all the way to Minneapolis from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. I would highlight the gender identity. Business. She's happy to be back to an in-person Pride event because this contributes to most of her revenue. My festival sales earn maybe 90% of my income. So with small businesses like mine, having um, no festivals last year was devastating. 3-0. In the middle of the park, the Gay Lesbian Amateur Sports Society, better known as GLASS, picked up a Pride Volleyball Tournament. Service 1-1. One, one. Chu Chi Kong is thrilled to be playing in person with his team again, which also took a hiatus during the pandemic. It honestly felt like nothing changed when we all came back together and it was so nice. <laughs> Yes. A few traditions weren't possible this year, though. Because of the small window to plan the festival after restrictions were lifted in the spring, there will not be a parade, nightly concert series, or fireworks. But people don't seem to mind. They're just happy to be back together in a safe, welcoming space. We celebrate Pride every day, but it's so nice to be able to see so much support from our community and to be able to be here with other people. And something neat that they had here today was several different vaccination sites for people to get the vaccine if they want it. And if you missed out, don't worry. This is all happening again tomorrow from 10 to 6. Okay, so our FOMO is okay. We can do it tomorrow. <laughs> exactly. And it's supposed to be beautiful weather again. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much, Elle.